Hi there everybody, on today's video we have this um, Mercedes B180 2013 and I'm gonna be changing the oil and the oil filter and as well as the air filter and I'm also gonna top up some uh, screen wash fluid and just check the coolant um, percentage I'm gonna start by topping up some screen wash fluid and that will be on that little blue cup there I've got here a ready mixed screen wash fluid that you can get from any garage or you can buy a concentrated one and uh, just mix it yourself But not, try not to put any fairy liquid in there because it just becomes like jelly and then it blocks all the jets. Okay, now quickly I'm gonna check the the coolant. Coolant is in that tank there. Just uh, be careful when opening that cup. Uh, if the engine's been running, that could spray some um, hot water and you can get burned. So it is made. Uh, for safety, but um, you still have to be careful. Just open it um, slowly if the engine is hot. So I can just about see the uh, coolant in there. It's a little bit dusty or something, but um, you can just see. Okay, so you can see um, that is pretty much at the top. Um, the reference I use uh, is this line here. So that goes around there. And that's the maximum, really. So the level is okay. But now I'm going to check the percentage of antifreeze using this little gadget here. You can use, uh, you can buy this from any shop. Now that's showing me minus. 30 so that fluid will uh, not freeze basically unless it's above or below minus 30 basically which be going down to minus 40 minus 50 and uh, we haven't had those temperatures here in the UK um, so that's uh, pretty much good I mean, anyway, we have usually have a 50-50 balance in there, 50% uh, antifreeze, 50% water, um, unless we're in countries of extreme weather. Now, I'm um, going to do the... <laughs> Are we doing the air filter? The air filter, it's located in that box there. So we need to undo some Torx screws here. And I have here a T25. That isn't too bad, but we're changing it anyway. And the part I'm using in this case is that make, that make there, and it's E1061L.
those uh, torx screws only screw onto plastic so don't overdo them otherwise they will just round I mean they will damage the the plastic and they will just keep going round Okay, now we'll move on to the um, oil and oil filter. Just gonna take this uh, cover off. That cover basically just unplugs from there. And uh, we'll find the oil filter sitting just there. Okay, so I'm going to be using one of these to remove that filter. The size of these is a 76.14. That's what's written on it. This is a uh, blueprint, I think. Okay, so that's uh, our uh, oil filter coming out there. Then we have to uh, just remove that. So I'm gonna leave this to one side for now. Now, if you're working outside or in a windy environment, um, and you think anything can go in there, any leaves or anything like that, you could always just cover that hole a little bit with a bit of rag. Just so nothing goes in there until you put your new filter in. Okay, now we're gonna concentrate on getting the car up and draining the oil from underneath. So, if you're working uh, on the floor, you're gonna need uh, obviously a jack, maybe some axle stands. Um, and you have to refer to manual to see where the uh, stance can go. I'm just gonna open the oil filter cap here and also I'm gonna pull the dipstick. Okay I'm just gonna leave those sitting there and that's gonna allow some air to drain the oil from underneath. And um, Okay I'm gonna get the car up now and We'll drain the oil. Okay, looking at the car from underneath, we need to remove this uh, plastic tray. Um, we got some 8 mil bolts to remove. There's a few of them, so I'm just going to remove those and then we can lower that to gain access to the sump plug. Okay, now we can see our uh, sump plug bolt is just sitting there. That is a uh, 13 mil. So just make sure you get uh, an oil pan underneath, and then we can open that and drain the oil. And remember, if the car has been running, the uh, engine oil might be very hot as well. So just be careful not to burn yourself. Okay, so while that is draining, we let it drain um, five, ten minutes. We can do our oil filter. So just need to pull this up here. A bit tight. Got my new filter here, and uh, we also have some more rings with it. Okay, 
again that's the make of filter I'm using <coughs> and the number is that E11HD204 okay so we're gonna remove the old o-rings Just gonna put a little bit of uh, multi-purpose grease on that o-ring there and just these other ones a little bit now we get our filter and we can push it down in there all the way in that's it, our oil filter is ready. Um, all we need now is a new washer for our uh, sun plug here. Okay, so now we can uh, refit our sun plug bolt. Okay, now we're ready to refit our uh, under tray and lower the car and top up some oil and fit our new filter. Now we lower the car. Okay, now we're gonna refit our oil filter. And um, on the cover here states 25 newton meters. So you can, if you have a torque wrench, you can tighten this to to the required amount. Okay, the filter is in there now. Um, now we're going to be topping up some oil. And looking at the manual here, it gives you the recommended oil that you can you can use. Uh, the Mercedes Benz approved. It's that one there. That's like a part number that you can buy from Mercedes for. Now the capacities, including the filter, that is a diesel engine, blue efficient shield. So you need to buy the uh, the oil that is for diesel engines. Um, if you buy the recommended one, they will give you obviously the correct viscosity. If you're choosing. Um, another type of oil you can look at the viscosities on this chart here depending on the temperatures of where you live now here in the UK we normally use 5W30 but you can use 5W40, 5W50 um, even 10W40 but that just really depends on the weather conditions and uh, the best suited for us here really is 5w30 and that's what I'm going to be using today
Okay, just a quick look at the dipstick here for reference. We have uh, two marks. The one at this end is the minimum, and this is the maximum. It's uh, you got. It's actually written in the mean and max. So just as a reference, this is this is just at the max now. We can see this is just at the max, maybe a little bit above. And that's because some of the oil will go onto the um, oil filter housing. And if you recheck this after running the engine, then you will see it's gone, it will go down to the max. Don't forget to put the um, cover back on. And that's it for today. So um, I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.